I'm Noreen and welcome to my kitchen and another installment of product share and review. The good folks at Perfect Tortilla Press sent me their tortilla press to give a try. The unique part about this pan is that not only does it press out your tortillas, but it also cooks them on both sides quickly and easily. So I've not taken it out of the box uh, or used it yet. Obviously, I've taken it out of the box. Um, but I thought it might be fun to go through this process together and show you my experience. So. Let's go see how this perfect tortilla press works. All right, we're going to get started. I would like to say first off that this video is being sponsored by the Perfect Tortilla Press, and those fine folks sent me one of their presses to give a try. Now, this is an innovative kind of idea to Americans, but from what I understand, this a similar type of tool is used all over the world. Um, in the Middle East, in, in different parts of South America perhaps, a very similar tool is used to make um, corn tortillas, flour tortillas, arepas, chapate, but I think it's a, a good alternative to stovetop quick and easy flatbreads. There's lots of flatbreads from all over the world that you may or may not be familiar with, um, but today we're going to share this perfect tortilla press with you. I'm going to demonstrate it using my flour tortilla recipe. This tortilla press is intended to help you press out your tortillas and cook them. Not at the same time, but you will press them out. You'll press your dough balls out in here. You'll set them aside. Then you'll put this on the stove for five minutes and heat it up. And then you'll put your flattened flatbread dough in the press. You'll close it and then you'll heat it for 30 seconds, and then you'll flip it over for 30 more seconds. Um, but here's the back of the, of the box, an essential tool in every Latin, Arabic, and Indian kitchen. Um, it's two tools in one. You can use it standalone as a tortilla press, uh, as a tortilla griddle, or both. Uh, it's made of sturdy die-cast, non-scratchable aluminum. It's coated in a non-stick coating, and it's uh, built to last. The long handle provides good leverage to make your pressing effortless, and the stay cool handle is made of Bakelite, so you don't need a towel or glove or oven mitt to use this. Um, the cooking surface is made out of a triple sandblasted aluminum and non-stick ceramic oil to, keep, to heat quickly and evenly, and this cooks on either side on a gas or electric stovetop and up to 650 degrees. This is also dishwasher safe and the non-stick surface wipes clean with a damp or dry cloth. Some of the suggestions that they have here are tortillas, chapati o roti, which is uh, Indian flatbread, uh, is a similar nature to tortillas, arepas, which are South American corn kind of flatbread uh, made with cornmeal, Pe uh, the petacones or tostones, which is, is the flattened uh, plantain, and then small pizza crust or flatbread um, that you can then top with cheese and, you know, finish off in the oven. So I think this offers a lot of versatility and uh, not just tortillas, but depending on your culture, your background, like I said, about every single solitary culture in the world has some version of a flatbread. Um, it just depends on where you're from, what you're looking at, etc. So what I've done is I have prepared one recipe of my, this is my flour tortilla recipe, but I also want to show you that this does come with a little insert. It has some usage tips and some instructions. It has Jeff the Chef's favorite recipe for flour tortillas as well as his recipe for Colombian petacones or tostones. So what you want to do is I'm going to take, this is only for the purposes of pressing out the dough, okay? I'm going to take the ball, I'm going to flatten it out a little on the surface. Make sure you put it in just a dusting of flour because it will stick, all right? And then I'm going to press it as hard as I can until that magnet clicks and then I'm going to lift it up. Now, I'm going to do this a second time and I'm going to rotate that and I'm going to press it again. This makes your tortilla a little bit flatter. Now, you can see how thick that is. Tortilla aficionados are going to say, I like my tortillas a little bit on the thinner side. So what you're gonna do at that point, because this isn't gonna get any thinner in this press, this press helps you facilitate a nice round shape and a nice flat area. And all you have to do is come in here with the palm of your hand and then you can just manipulate that dough and that tortilla out as thin as you like. 
that's how I'm gonna make mine. You can make yours as big or as small as you like. All right, I have been heating my Perfect Tortilla Press over my burner on medium-high heat. I know that the instructions say on high heat, but I'm gonna tell you why I think medium-high is better um, in just a minute, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open this up, and I have taken one of my prepared flour tortilla pieces that I have actually rolled out very, very thin. But I'm going to go ahead and put it on this surface. And then I'm going to close it. And then um, it's going to make noise, okay? You're going to need to hold it down. And then you're going to want to flip it over. When it stops singing, you want to open this up and you want to look at it. Now, how brown do you like your tortillas, okay? How brown do you like them? I like mine a little bit browner than that, so I'm going to keep mine in there. You want it in there for, the instructions say 30 seconds per side, but I'm a little pickier, so I'm going to monitor mine a little bit differently. And then I'm going to go ahead and have a look at this, and I'm going to call that perfect, all right? All right, all of our tortillas are made, and I'm going to share with you my experience and some of our tortillas. Now, these tortillas look beautiful. This one is a littler, um, um, littler. It's a little on the thicker side. Um, these are thinner. These are perfect for, and listen, tortillas don't have to be perfectly round. They are a homemade item, and rustic is the way to go, all right? So as you can see, all of these tortillas were done using that method, and they're all pliable, and they're soft. They're browned on both sides, and they're delicious. You don't have to make your tortilla in this, although it is perfect for doing that. You could then once your tortillas are ready, sprinkle cheese in between, put it on here, heat it up, and melt it. That way you have this beautiful surface area on the top and the bottom, right? This kind of like a panini griddle without the ridges. So this is something that you could do um, to make uh, like a, a quesadilla or grilled cheese sandwich even. Um, something like that, if you get what I'm saying. I think there is more than one opportunity in your kitchen to use this pan. I would like to thank the nice people at Perfect Tortilla Press for sending me this press. They have offered a coupon code for you to get your own, and that's going to give you 10% off the original price, and you'll be able to go to their website. The link is down below and here on the screen, and uh, you'll be able to... No. The link is down below, and you'll be able to go to their website. Just pop in that coupon code upon checkout, and you'll get 10% off the price. So I hope that you enjoyed this review and product share. And if you are interested in getting your own Perfect Tortilla Press, I encourage you to use the link below. Go to their website, use that coupon code, and get your discount. Get one at home yourself and see how you like it. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you're interested, I hope you try it. And until next time, I'll see ya.